Oh yeah, we are back. Hello and welcome to another Japan Crate video. Now, it's been a while since I've last done one of these. Uh, for those of you who've been subscribed for a while, you'll remember about 2018, 2019, I used to do pretty regular Japan Crate videos. Um, and then I kind of just stopped. Uh, but you know, I decided to pick it back up again. So for those of you not in the know, or in case it's been a while, Japan Crate is like a monthly Japanese snack subscription box thing that, um, honestly, my previous videos all did really well, and I don't fully understand why, but hey, I'm not complaining. Uh, so today is marks the return, basically. I've resubscribed for three more months of this because I've kind of missed it, to be honest. I've recently had a yearning for Japanese snacks, and honestly, buying them on their own is actually kind of expensive now, so I thought this actually might be the most cost-effective one. And wouldn't you know it, I've timed this really well, as this is July's crate, uh, and that is, as you can tell, slightly themed. That is right, it is themed after the new Hatsune Miku Project Eva Mega Mix, uh, which is out on Steam and stuff, I believe, now. Um, so, uh, actually, it's a game I've played a little bit of. I did buy it on Steam. I haven't sat down with the PC version as much, but I did play a ton of the PS4 version, which I can't quite remember the name of now, but I want to say that was called Mega Mix, but I can't remember. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, and I also spent an incredible amount of time in this game, which is the Nintendo 3DS one, which is uh, Project Mirai DX, which... I think I spent over 100 hours in. Uh, I do love Hatsune Miku rhythm games, uh, or the Project Diva rhythm games, I guess they're called. But yeah, anyway, this is a big collaboration with Sega and Japan Crate. And I saw the advert for this and I was like, you know what? I'm kind of tempted. And that's what got me back into it. So as you can see, we've got the... Uh, We've got Project Eva Mega Mix. Ah, Mega Mix Plus. There we are. So I think Mega Mix was the one I played on PS4. Uh, spent a lot of time with that. I even configured my fight stick that I had to work with it. Honestly, if you've got a fight stick and you happen to really like uh, the Project Eva games, give it a go. It will change your life. It's so much easier than using a pad. It's, it, it's a different level. So we're going to take a look at the box and then obviously we'll crack into it and take a look inside. So got japancrate.com, which is obviously the website you can get it at. Uh, I'll leave a link below if you want to get one of your own as well. Some social media stuff. Uh, I don't really tend to go in for that, but I mean, oh, my address. Okay, well, <laughs> hopefully I've smartly edited that out. Okay, I won't, I won't be showing you guys the bottom of that. But yeah, there we are, cool. So uh, it's got the like Project Mega Mix thing at the back there, but I can't show you because my address is plastered all over it. Don't really want to share that on YouTube. Anyway, I'm gonna go and slice open the um, the cell tape now, and then we'll take a look inside. All right, it is open. And as with tradition from my previous Japan Crate uh, videos, I'm not gonna give you guys a look because I want you to experience it as as I do, uh, which is basically diving blindly in uh, and sort of taking a look. So we've got the cheat sheet, which I'll put to the side because, as with tradition, as with my uh, previous ones as well, I'm going to take a look at things, try and read them, and kind of see what snacks they are, and then I'll see how close my kana reading is to the actual thing. So I'm just going to put my hand in and pull out the first item. Ooh, hmm. Can we guess what this is? Now, Doritozu. Doritozu. Hmm. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. So this is Noreto. Noreto? Mairuto. Mairuto. Noruto. Okay, cool. This looks like salt. Is this like wasabi salt, I'm guessing? Because it's green. Um, I think this is the first pack of Japanese Doritos I've ever seen, actually. Uh, I mean, well, I've, I've seen them online, sorry, but I've never, like, actually eaten them myself or really held any in my hand. I feel like the bag feels really premium. Like, I was a kind of thin in the UK, but this is, like, really thick plastic. Uh, obviously, this is Frito-Lay, uh, or in the UK, Walkers. Right, I'm going to say it's wasabi salt. Let's see what it actually is. Okay, so this is the corn and salt Doritos. Um, it's apparently kind of milder flavour, and they also apparently taste different than the international version, so definitely looking forward to that. As with all of these snacks, I'm not going to be eating them in this video because this video will take absolute weeks to uh, 
to film everything for and stuff. So uh, I am going to be eating one thing at the end of this video, but for now, uh, I'm going to put that to the side. It's probably going to be a smaller thing. I will be trying some of these though in a separate video, so keep an eye out for that. I think I'm going to call it like Japanese snack reviews or something. Uh, ooh, let's pull out this. What the fudge is this? This is interesting. Uh, ah, okay, good. This, this is in uh, cocoa. No, cocoa, cocoa, maybe cocoa. Oh, it feels like little Oreo kind of things, basically. Oh, and it looks like little Oreo things too. But it's a breakfast cereal. Shout out to the old Cookie Crisp adverts there. Um, yeah, this uh, does that say co? That's co, right? Cocoa, cocoa, which is cocoa. Uh, right, I'll, I'll just stop making strange baby noises now and we'll check what this is. This is pet, Petty Black Cocoa, or Coco. Um, and yeah, they're, they're small uh, sort of black cocoa biscuits filled with cream. So kind of much like Oreos, really. Uh, so that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, I keep forgetting to adjust my camera. So I can feel like an interesting thing to the side, but I'm going to pull a few more snacks, then we'll take a look at what that is. Ooh. Ooh, Ginza Rusk. Ooh, now this is ringing a bell. I think I've had these before, actually. So these are literally Rusk biscuits, which um, over in the UK, Rusks are generally considered kind of baby things, like small biscuits you give to babies. But I'm sure these are quite interesting or whatever. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, so that says Ginza uh, Rusk. So... Cool, I will check. I'm guessing it's like milk flavoured or something? This is the Ginza Rusk White Milk. Uh, and yeah, as as expected, this is indeed milk flavour. So I didn't uh, I didn't read anything on it that gave me that hint. But I kind of just I guessed from the fact that you could see milk on the front. Next oh Next up, oh good lord, it's in kanji, uh, unfortunately, so I cannot read that, but these feel like little corn things, more, says something around there, more something, cool, uh, I can't, can't quite read that, it's taco, it looks like it says taco, but I don't imagine these are octopus snacks, well he's very happy, I feel like I've had snacks like these before as well, I think they're like, Small crackery things. I'm gonna see there's a salt and vinegar at a guess. You know what? I wasn't too far off. This is crispy mochi taro. So I thought I said taco, but clearly uh, it had been the the R had been sort of obfuscated. Also, uh, I forgot to show you guys, but this is the cheat sheet uh, foldout. Obviously, July 2020. And look, it's a little poster of everyone's favorite idol, um, and it's full Mega Mix Plus. So it's kind of like an advert along with a cheat sheet as well. So um, that's pretty cool. And then that shows a few aspects of the game. I mean, if, if you're a fan of rhythm games, I do genuinely recommend the uh, the Project Eva games. They are very fun. Right, next up we have, oh, what's this? Uh, ooh, ooh, okay. We have Nietzsche Soft. Maybe nature soft. Um, my my hiragana is a bit a bit rusty. Not gonna lie, but that's katakana. That's sofudo. Uh, nature soft. Maybe um, they look like ice cream cones. Uh, cider. Oh, this and that's cider flavor. So cider is apple flavor. So this is I'm gonna say apple flavored chewy gummies of some kind. Okay, so I read that horribly. So this is the Nericho Ice Cream DIY Kit. Uh, so it kind of lets you make your own ice cream flavoured soda. Um, yeah, I I'm, I'll definitely be looking forward to doing that in the uh, snack review video. That sounds like it will be a lot of fun. Oh, it'll end up horribly. I'll be honest, DIY kits are very 50-50. Sometimes they're great. Sometimes I end up horribly but butchering them. Cheezak. Okay. Um, yeah. That's a cat with shades, and he likes cheese. I think it's a cat, or is it a mouse? No, it's probably a cat. 
Okay, I'm guessing this is a kind of cheese-filled biscuit kind of thing. Let's uh, let's take a look. All right, that is exactly what I predicted it to be. And also, I said it was a cat, and it is a cat. Good lord, my identification skills for cute Japanese mascots is definitely improving. Uh, so I'm gonna like. Go for this. Hey, there you go. So I couldn't quite tell what it was. It felt like a piece of paper. Um, but it makes more sense now. I have some very cute Hatsune Miku stickers. Hey, so we've got obviously the uh, the logo from the game. Got a Chibi Miku. Very cute. Uh, we've got regular kind of key art Miku. Uh, sort of slightly more stylized Miku maybe. Uh, and one of her kind of leaning back on her mic stand. Fun fact about mic stands actually, at uh, one of the Super Bowls once, Bruce Springsteen needed a reinforced mic stand because he leant on it so hard that it kept coming out of the ground basically, so they had to um, concrete it several feet into the ground so that it didn't break. There we are. I, I, I know there's a, there's a lot of crossover between uh, Bruce Springsteen fans and Hatsune Miku fans. Let me know in the comments what your favourite Vocaloid cover of a Bruce Springsteen song is. Uh, next up, let's go for the big one, shall we? Ooh. Hey, it's Mike Popcorn. Let's go. Right. I've had a lot of these before, and this is Bata Reu. Reumi. Rei. Reumi. Bata Reumi. Bata Reumi. I'm just going to look it up. I'm just making strange noises at you guys now. This is Mike Popcorn, and it's the uh, butter and soy sauce flavour. Now, as they say, it does sound like an interesting or weird combo, but to be honest, I can kind of see it working, because they're both kind of salty. Um, yeah, I can kind of... Also, sorry, I've just picked up here. This is obviously an intentional theme. All of the packaging is basically blue, or kind of green, which... Uh, I'll, I'll do a nice lineup at the end and you'll see it better. But hey, there's another blue thing. This is Seven Stick. Uh, Miru ku, mi, mirk, uh, Kreemu. Oh, Mirku Kreemu. There we are. It's Milk Cream Seven Stick. Th that blue guy is having the time of his life. God damn, look at that smile. He is, he is living life. I thought, I don't know why, from a distance, I thought that was a hot dog for a second and that was like mustard or like a topping and I was like, dude, why do they look like hot dogs? Okay, so I'm guessing we get seven sticks of milk cream filled biscuity things. Uh, let's take a look. These are the cream wafer sticks. It's weird they're not called seven stick on the uh, pamphlet, but that clearly is the name of the thing. They sound very nice. Uh, that that might be a contender for something I'll have at the end of this video. Unless... Oh, what do you know? It's a blue package. Uh, oh, of... Yasare no do... Something. That's kanji. Um, these are really interesting. They're small. They almost feel like peanuts, but I don't think they are. They're kind of wrapped. They're by, by meat dough. Which I want to say make uh, sweet stuff more than anything, so I don't fully know what these are. These feel like they should be, um, oh, maybe it's a kind of pudding of some kind, some kind of cream pudding. But I couldn't tell you because a lot of that is kanji. Uh, right, let's check out what this is. These are yoghurt lozenges, uh, and actually they sound pretty interesting. They've got herbal extract and sort of... They seem genuinely something you, you might use to actually soothe the throat. Um, I've had similar stuff before, like Fisherman's Friend, which is not really comparable, but kind of similar, I guess. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Ooh. Ooh, this packaging looks familiar. I feel like... Uh, saku, sakura, sakuran, be, can't read that, can't read that, no. <laughs> so these look like cherries, ah, I think I may have had these before, years ago. I don't know if they were this flavour though, I don't think they were. Um, but they're kind of jelly things and in the middle is obviously cherry flavoured kind of jelly stuff. 
But yeah, these were really nice from what I remember. Uh, let's see... Gemu. Gemi. Gummy. Gemi? That says Gemi, but it should be Gummy, right? Because they're gummies? I don't know. Anyway, let's see what these are. These are cherry gummies. Now, it does mention, doesn't this remind you of all the pink capsules you can get in Megamix Plus? My dudes, Luca is a Vocaloid. Luca has pink hair. Also, Luca is the best girl. Uh, right, anyway, let's continue. Why is my camera so dumb? Uh, with this. Koala no March. Oh, no, okay, no, these are... Colon. Oh, yes, colon. Cream colon. There we are. So, I can't uh, no miruku. So, something something no miruku. Uh, oh, those look really nice, actually. Um, so, cream colon, I don't know if you guys have ever had them. They are, as they look here, they're kind of like wafery things with a kind of milk centre, or a cream centre, I suppose. Uh, and these are beautiful. Honestly, cream colon are like some of my favourite biscuit things. Uh, let's see what exactly milk things these are. And as said, these are cream colon, so these are actually caramel flavour. Um, so I guess maybe caramel no mirku or something is what it said. Uh, I really do need to learn kanji, honestly. I know there's... I know there's quite a few characters, you know, a, a couple dozen, I think, but... Um, I need to just just kind of, you know, pull my finger out. Ooh, we have poi, poi no something. Are those? They look like burgers, almost. Uh, pie, no. Oh, pie. These are pies of some kind. This is chocorito pie. Chocorito pie. Cool. There we are. These are chocolate pies. Oh, that would have... Yeah, I, I, okay, I, we were just looking at the back there. <laughs> Never mind, that would have been a lot easier. Cool, so these are like small chocolate pie biscuits. Uh, I'm curious to see what that character means, actually. Pie, no. That must be the brand, obviously. Cool, let's see what these are. This is Chocolate Pies by Lotte. Um, and yeah, they're, they're mini chocolate pies. Really? That's, that's very exciting, actually. Also, this is quite a heavy pack. Um, I will say one thing for Japan Crate as well. Whilst, you know, obviously you do get the little mini things, you do tend to get pretty big things as well. Like, whatever the heck th Ooh, yo! Okay, so I, I was kind of keeping this until one of the last ones, because I could feel a big pack. Now, this really caught me off guard, guard because this is like paper packaging. Uh, you can probably like tell. But this is white chocolate, I'm assuming. White chocolate Kit Kat. Now, I'm always a big fan of the big Kit Kat bags and stuff. Um, so these are the other flavours and stuff as well, but... Okay, it's really cool they've switched to like a paper packaging. I suppose it's easy to recycle and more environmentally friendly. Nice, very cool. Right, let's look up if these are indeed white chocolate. This is the bonus item of the crate, and this is Salt and White Chocolate Kit Kat. So... It's an interesting combo, I'll give them that. It's got a pinch of sea salt, so you can enjoy two different flavours. Like, you can enjoy two different graphic modes on Mega Mix Plus. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll give them credit, they, they really try and get all the uh, references in there. That is very nice, that's, uh, that's a good old amount as well. There's probably, uh, probably quite a few in here, I can't actually see any numbers on it, but there's probably like 10 or something, I imagine. I may have to share that amongst some friends. Uh, ooh, okay, we have... Oh, this is kind of some kind of Schubert thing. Fu... Fueru... Fueramu... Eh... From... Fueramune... Oh, hang on. Fu... Ramune... Fueramune... Fueramune? Cool. Um... Yeah, so... Oh! Oh, okay, never mind. One of them, unfortunately, has kind of disintegrated. Because I thought you kind of dip this into some powder, but no, unfortunately, one of them has turned into powder. Uh, right, cool. These are probably Ramune-flavoured kind of mints or something. Uh, right, let's give it a look. This is Ramune whistling candy. So apparently, if you, like, put it in your mouth and blow, it'll make a whistling sound. 
It also advises you to whistle along with all of the songs you'll find in Mega Mix Plus. There's over 200 songs in Mega Mix Plus. I imagine these have mel these would have melted by then. Okay, so I've changed my mind. At the end of the video, I'm going to try one of these because I want to try the whistling thing. Obviously, not with that one. I, I think that's. I don't think I'll be able to blow through that one. I think we can we can uh, write that one off. And we got two more items. I'm saving the kind of one of the big ones till last. Hey, this is a chewing gum. Now, I've definitely had this before. These are cute little chewing gums, like a wizard on the front. Everything's written in kanji, apart from gamu, which is in katakana. But I think this is like blueberry gum. This is blue soda gum. Uh, and apparently it turns your tongue blue. Uh, obviously not permanently, as that would be incredibly worrying, and I don't know what chemicals it is they'd use to do that. Uh, probably won't be doing that on a video. I don't think you guys want to see my tongue, uh, no matter what colour it is. Our penultimate one is a bunny and a squirrel. Fupi Ramune. Fupi Ramune? Fupi Ramune. Okay, I'm not... This is Ramune flavoured something. They They feel like sort of clusters of... Like popping candy or little mints or something? Uh, let's see what the hell is up with these woodland creatures. This is Kupi Ramune. Uh, so this has various different flavours and styles, I do believe. So, I've got to say, maybe maybe it is just me. All of you kind of readers out there. That is Ku. Now, I can't see the little dip. I mean, I guess it makes more sense because Fu would be more that way. But honestly, I could not tell you that was a coup, but maybe that is just me not used to reading Kana. And I put the... Oh my god, there's another thing. Good cry. Th this is absolutely filled. Um, oh, yes. Now, I believe I've had one of these before as well. Hyanko Aisu. That definitely says ice. I think I'm reading that wrong. I don't think that's Hyanko. But I think these are chewing gums that kind of feel really cold in your mouth. Obviously, it's mint, but like it feels really cold. Anyway, let me see if I'm right. This is super cool ice gum, uh, and yeah, as I said, uh, it feel it leaves your mouth feeling really cold. Uh, obviously, mint does that anyway, but this is like super mint or some kind. Because honestly, I tried it before and. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know, the Japanese have just got got it down when it comes to um, things like that. Now, I believe... Yeah, this is the last one. The last one is, of course, the drink. And that is... Uh, oh, let's see. It is popcorn? Popcorn soda. Okay. Fair enough. Not what I was expecting, I will be honest. Caramel popcorn soda. Wow, okay. Um, interesting, cool. I always love the drinks because they are never what I expect them to be. Even if they're like Pepsi or something, it's like, oh, I know what Pepsi is. And it's like, no, never mind. It's completely different. Wow, caramel popcorn soda. Um, I mean, I think I know what it's going to taste like, but let's take a look. This is Caramel Popcorn Soda, uh, and you know, kudos to whoever wrote this. Have you ever uh, dreamt of drinking popcorn? No, me neither. I'm, I'm with you there. I'm, I'm definitely with you there. This is going to be an interesting one. Definitely stay tuned for my Japanese snack review video, where I kind of go through some of these, because this is going to be a hell of a trip. Uh, right, all that's left now is to take a look inside this box, as there's usually collaboration artwork. Hey, there you go. So you get kind of the Mega Mix Plus logo and at the bottom Japan Crate in the kind of Hatsune Miku uh, kind of design colour style thing. Right, I'm going to go and arrange them all now um, in, a, in, a, in a nice pattern and stuff and we'll end the video. So BRB. All right, so I'm going to try and get a better setup for next time because I'm barely getting this into shot. But this kind of concludes all that was in the crate. And to be honest, I was genuinely impressed by how many things there are. Now, technically, you could be nitpicky and say, ah, oh, there's loads of like little things. But honestly, I kind of like that. I, I appreciate a nice little variety of things because, I mean... You know, worst case scenario, if you really like a snack, you could always just buy the larger version or whatever. And 
yeah, honestly, this is quite exciting. There's quite a few things I'm really looking forward to trying. The Doritos and the Kit Kats, obviously. That drink has really got my attention now. I do not know how that's going to taste. And we've got the DIY kit. I'm definitely going to go give that a try. Loads of these little jelly things. The popcorn thing. I, I don't mind Mike's popcorn. I'll be honest. It, I'm not a big popcorn person, but I'll definitely, I'll definitely give those a go. And as I said, I'll do a lot of these in my Japanese snack review video. You'll have to give me a couple of weeks because I don't tech, I don't typically eat snacks every day or whatever. So it takes me a while to, you know, film the little things and then compile them or whatever. However, I am going to do one now, which is this whistling Ramune thing. So obviously that one's out. So I'm going to tear into this one. Uh, I'm going to put it between my lips. You're just going to have to believe me because I'm not going to film putting this between my lips for you guys because that would be weird. And let's see. Wow, that was incredible. That that's crazy. I I was like, oh no, you know, it's gonna be one of those things that you've gotta like hold it just right and like really, you know, get the angle correct, but no, th this is like literally you put it your, between your lips and <laughs> that's that's crazy. Uh right, okay, I'm gonna stop playing with my food now and I'm gonna give it a bite. That's really nice, actually. Um, I've had candies that taste almost identical to this before. Um, but this is really, like, nice and chunky, if that makes sense. Like, I took a half bite, and that was already more than the usual kind of Ramune mint kind of things you usually get. So, yeah, these are really nice. However, if you put it between your lips now, it doesn't really make a sound. Well, that was really nice. Um, yeah, all this to say is that I am... Pretty, pretty darn happy that I've decided to like resubscribe to Japan Crate now. Also, big kudos uh, to the fact that the guide, the like cheat sheet thing, can actually just be a poster. I am gonna hang this in my room because I do genuinely love the Project Eva games. Um, yeah, that about wraps it up for this video. Let me know if uh, you guys got this one, or if you're thinking of getting them, or if you got them in the past or anything. Uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed making this. As I said, uh, keep an eye out for that video for reviewing all of these snacks, or most of these snacks. I don't think I'll be reviewing all of them because some of them, you know, aren't as interesting, really. But that'll be out in a couple weeks, of course. And I'll be putting other videos up in the meantime. Yeah, that about wraps it up. I'll leave a playlist for my past Japan Crate videos just in case you want to see what it was that I was eating in 2019, which sounds a bit weird out of context, really. And that's it. So, until next time, goodbye.